Hi, this is Maggie from Maggie's Crochet Needlework and Crafts and in this video I'm going to show you pattern number PA818 that's available at maggiescrochet.com. This is Floral Bouquet of Dishcloth Set 1. In another video I'll show you Set 2. So there's 7 in each set. So if you had both sets you could make 14 gorgeous floral dishcloths. So all of these were made out of worsted weight yarn and I used cotton. Of course that's the best yarn to use for dishcloths and this skill is easy. And each one uh, is about nine and a half to ten inches across. And um, I think that's about it. I will show you each one. This one is started from the center. It's a rosebud dishcloth uh, with double crochet stitches. And then you go to change to green for the leaf V stitches. And then you do a cluster stitch for the rosebuds here. And then you go back to white. That's so adorable. And here's a beautiful rose dishcloth. And there's a video on YouTube where I show you how to do a rose and work behind the petals. So if you've never done that before, that's a good way to learn by watching the videos. And my YouTube channel is Maggie Weldon. And here is a beautiful pansy. So you work the pansy and then you do chains behind the petals so that you have something to build the next round onto. And then these leaves are worked separately and sewn on. Here is a daisy and these this has long cluster stitches to create those petals. And I'm going to do a YouTube video on that one too, on that flower or something similar to that. So you see how it's made. Here's a carnation. Carnation is a lot easier than it looks. You work in a circle of single crochet you work in the back loop and then you come back and work in those unused loops and you do these chains to make a, create a flower. And then you work in the unused loops on the final round and you create the rest of the dishcloth working off those loops. So here you start with a double crochet circle. This is for the forget me not. And then you work um, the green off the white here for the leaf round and then you make these little flowers separately and you sew them on. And this is the little sunflower and this is a little single crochet chain one circle and then you work the petals and then behind the petals you work a little chain loop. You can see the chains back there. And then on those chains you work double crochets and then a little single crochet chain uh, round there and it comes out really pretty. And I love this color combination. Another co uh, combination might be to use blue behind here, like a, maybe a royal blue. It would be really pretty with white. be nice. So all seven of those patterns come in the one pattern, which is pattern number PA818. And that's available at maggiescrochet.com. Thank you very much for watching.